Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video we're going to be covering the top 10 most popular Linux distributions in late 2016. So at the top of the list, at number 10 most popular, we have Arch Linux. Arch is a lightweight distribution that does not come out of the box with many features installed by design so that you have better initial performance and that you can customize the OS to your liking. Contrary to more popular versions of Linux, such as Ubuntu, the Arch Linux package includes the Pac-Man package manager. While Arch Linux can be very cool when you get it up and running, historically it's been a little bit less user friendly as the install scripts are not as straightforward and automatic as you would expect from most operating systems. Number 9, CentOS. It's a rebuild of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux, but the major advantage of this operating system is that it has the stability of an enterprise class operating system without the cost of certification and support. This also happens to be the variation of Linux that my database instructor insisted on using in college. You can take that for whatever you think it's worth. Number 8, Zorin. The goal of this project was to be as close to an easy to use interface like Windows has to set up the user with an easy to use desktop without actually relying on Windows. So the idea behind Zorin is mostly that of a Windows replacement that you can actually get set up and use for free like any other Linux operating system, but that is trying to be as user friendly as possible. Number seven, Elementary OS. While Zorin may be a Windows lookalike, Elementary could be compared closest to Mac OS. On their site, they claim to be a replacement for both Windows and Mac computers. And one of the cool things about the Elementary package is that they have several custom designed applications that you don't find in other Linux distributions, which have a UI design that is very similar to what you would expect out of Mac applications. Number six, Fedora. Whenever I think of the Fedora OS, I usually think of the GNOME desktop environment, which works very well, looks good, and is user friendly. This Linux distribution, which is owned by Red Hat, however, has many other desktops available to it, such as KDE, XFCE, LXDE, Mate, and Cinnamon. Number 5, Manjaro Linux. This may be my personal favorite Linux distribution because it has the power and flexibility of the Arch Linux desktop since it's built on Arch. But in addition to that, you have a very slick and well-designed interface out of the box with Manjaro Linux. And the icing on the cake might be the fact that Manjaro has very easy to use installation scripts that you would expect in most operating systems. And that makes it very easy to get this Arch-based distribution off the ground on your computer. Bonus trivia about Manjaro and Arch Linux is that they run on a rolling distribution, which means whenever there's a system upgrade to happen, you can simply use the package manager to upgrade to the latest version of Arch Linux or Manjaro without having to re-download and reinstall with a USB or live CD. Number four, OpenSUSE. The stated goals of this project is to become the world's most usable Linux distribution that has a desktop environment that's very easy for new users of Linux to get into. Given that they're number four on the list, I would say that they're pretty close to achieving that. To garner the support of the technical community, OpenSUSE has released several tools such as OpenQA, which does automatic testing for operating systems. Number three, Ubuntu Linux. Personally, I'm pretty surprised that this wasn't the number one Linux distribution out there at the moment, considering it's the one that really started to get me into Linux with its easy to use interface. Ubuntu Linux is one of the more user-friendly operating systems out there running on GNOME by default, which I personally consider to be very easy for beginners, but also because it has a comprehensive package manager and it also has the third-party support of the community with tools like a very good bootloader fixer. Number two, the Debian operating system. Whenever I think of this OS being discussed, it's often coming down to the stability of the package. I haven't personally used the base OS, but many other packages of Linux, such as Ubuntu, use it as the basis for what their operating system is built upon. So I think that gives some credibility to the whole stability argument. And the number one most popular Linux distribution at the moment in late 2016 is Linux Mint. 
Now Linux Mint is actually Debian and Ubuntu based, but what Linux Mint is known for is being very functional straight out of the box. And that's not to say that base OS's like Ubuntu aren't functional out of the box, but Linux Mint is going to have things like browser plugins, media codecs, and support for DVD playback without having to do additional installs, which is a big advantage to many people because not everybody wants to mess around with Linux for days and days on end. Some people just want to install the operating system and expect it to work immediately. So that's it for the top 10 most popular Linux distributions in late 2016. I've been Chris, I hope you learned something from this video and I'll see you in my future content.